girl Mona and today I'm here to do a fresh episodes of all my May favorites and uh, I have one bonus favorite as well so without wasting much time let's get started so number one on my list is the movie Razi obviously and I know I'm 10 days late but I finally got to watch the movie last night and oh my god Alia Bhatt I say this after every movie of hers that Alia Bhatt this was your best performance ever but I have to say this was the best performance of Alia Bhatt I have ever seen and I'm going to just woman I mean someone needs to give you a medal for pulling off Samad's character with so much dignity and with so much finesse. I mean, this was a goddamn knockout performance for sure. I absolutely loved how Alia Bhatt's uh, character, as in Samad's character, was portrayed in the movie. Like a 20 something year old girl who was scared at the sight of blood. She couldn't stand blood and she, she used to just get startled when people were around her. And she goes on to do such insane things. And it is real. It's happened in real life and that is what gave me chills down my spine. I couldn't I couldn't take my eyes off her throughout the movie and every time she would tiptoe around the room or in across the house uh, to find some confidential information. I I was I was just like biting my teeth and biting my nails that woman please calm down, you're gonna get caught or something. And it's mind blowing to think that all of this is real. It has happened and it is and it's, it's insane the amount of patriotism that it evoked in me. I mean, me out of everyone on this planet felt so patriotic, not just while watching the movie, even after watching the movie. And there are very few movies uh, which linger on in my head for a very long time. And this was one of them. I couldn't stop talking about it. That how would she go through all of that and still come back alive to India. It is, it's, it's just insane. It is, I can't even have, I can't even find words right now. I mean, Alia Bhatt, you, you really are a legend already. I don't know why people are saying, oh, she's the upcoming legend. She's the, you know, le you know, uh, the next legend or something, but you are the legend. I just want to say, Alia Bhatt, you are Samath and Samath is you. That is how real it was. Hats off to the entire Razi team and the Razi family and Meghna Gulzar for pulling off what you did. I I am a big fan of you know movies that move me and movies which oh, which make me think a lot after that and especially real life stories. Yeah, so basically, what I wanted to say was few stories should be told no matter how late and few heroes need to be remembered and you know and not just for now but forever and people are going to go back after watching this movie and think about Samad probably even grab a, grab the book to read it I think I'm going to do that next so my my hair has a mind of its own today don't mind that guys but anyway so the number two uh, thing on my list is a beauty product obviously and it is the Dior Addict lipstick it's actually a lip tint Cum gloss, cum lipstick. I don't know. It's just weird. But I had been seeing uh, one of my favorite bloggers on Instagram post a lot about it. It's one one of her holy grail products, and I am sure everybody knows her. Paris in four months, and when she when she's not that much of a makeup addict, but neither am I. But you know, she used to always rave about Dior lip addict or the bronze shimmer palette of Bobbi Brown. So I knew I had to get my hands on this, but it is actually quite expensive in India. But that it's actually a splurge if you want to just spend it from your lip product point of view. Because in Sephora, it's a little highly priced in India and I was itching to buy it, but then I'm like, mm, I'm not that much of a makeup fan, let it be. But when I went to London this time, it was actually slightly cheaper than it is in India there, but then I still didn't end up buy it. Then when I was a duty free on my flight back to India, I had some extra pounds remaining and I thought, well, what am I going to do with pounds in India? I might as well just buy it. So I got hold of this and I have almost finished it now. It's not opening. It's yeah. Sorry, I kept the packaging to just to show you guys and I've almost finished it now and you can look at it. It's like got this nice shimmer cover on it 
and what I like about it is because I lose a lot of my uh, makeup products, caps and covers. So this one is magnetic so it gets stuck to it and you're not going to lose it no matter what. And I got in the shade Delight. It is very subtle and it lets your natural color of your lips be and it's got the slight little sparkles so it gives it you know that classy look because I'm not someone who goes for bold colors no offense to people who use them I'm not someone who can pull it off so kudos to you if you can but I love this shade and this is what I'm wearing right now it also has SPF 10 in it so which is also good because it gives your lip some protection so the number three on my list is a restaurant. I went to this restaurant yesterday. It's actually a Delhi Bombay favorite which has finally arrived in Pune called Mama Goto. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. Uh, I love Asian cuisine and the moment I heard that it's arrived in Pune, I knew I had to go here and I had to check it out. And the moment I laid my eyes on the menu, it is just absolutely delicious but i'm sorry i have to say it doesn't surpass my favorite asian restaurant in pune which is shizuzan i'm still waiting for a restaurant to surpass that and if you've never come to pune and you do come to pune you have to check out shizuzan and you've been in pune and you've not been to shizuzan then well it's your loss. You need to go and check out Shizuzan. It's one of my all-time favorite restaurants in Pune when it comes to Asian cuisine. But yeah, this is also Asian cuisine. I'm sorry, this was supposed to be a Mama Goto review. Uh, I really like it and it is up there with Shizuzan but it's not entirely up there. We ordered for dumplings. They, here I had the prawn celery dumplings which were mm, okay. Uh, but what I liked about this restaurant was the service and the quirky interiors and uh, we had another dish called Ko Sue Ko I don't know how to pronounce it and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong I'll write it down below uh, it was called Ko Sue and for a very long time we kept arguing that which country does this dish belong to and then we had to google it of course and it turned out to be Burmese um, it was good but I found it a little spicy. If it weren't as spicy as it was, then probably I would have given it like 10 on 10 or something. So for me, it was somewhere there on 9 and the dumplings were also somewhere on 8 or 9. Um, I've been a little judgmental because I love Shizuzan and I will keep comparing every Asian restaurant on this planet to Shizuzan and that is why probably I'm being a little hard but it does make it to my main favorites because well I'm a sucker for Asian cuisine like I said and also because I really 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 like the restaurant how it's done and the service is impeccable and uh, and they had very good music and that's how you win my heart with good music so yeah it's a thumbs up and finally the bonus favorite for this month well is this um well this actually it's not the juice or the glass it's the straw uh well i know india has been trying to get uh, like india has been trying to go plastic free for a very long time and, and they've finally stopped all plastic straws all across the country i think starbucks has finally stopped it now and so have a lot of restaurants i was very glad that even mama goto didn't have um, the plastic straws yesterday and uh, I was looking for a replacement for a very long time and I found these on Amazon. So it's a stainless steel metal straw and it's very 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 affordable and it's very very handy and uh, useful and well you are even saving the environment. And you get it in a pack of four. So I'll show it to you guys. I got four of them. Two straight ones and two bent ones. And see? Two bent ones and I'm using one right now to drink, drink my raw juice and you also get a cleaner. And also the best part is that I was actually looking for these straws way before uh, the plastic ones were banned because uh, uh, you know I didn't want to stain my teeth while drinking alcohol or flavored juices. So this is good for that if you want to avoid that. Those are all my favorites for this month. I hope you enjoyed it. and. I'm going to come up with uh, fresh content every now and then whenever I make a blog. 
and uh, I'll improve with my editing. I promise on that. Uh, if you like this video, then please do like it and please do subscribe it and share it with your friends. And if you don't like it, then please do comment below that what would you want me to improve on. And I'll take any feedback with open and wide arms. Uh, thank you for watching and if you've made it till this part of the video, then uh, I just wanted to say that I love you guys. Bye!